Let's continue with styling and navigation. Uh, so the first part of this desktop version is done for now. We're going to start going down to our media queries down at the bottom here, hopefully somewhere, there we go. So this is my media query. So when the screen goes below 720, we are going to change. We already did this, so we know what's happening here. So again, just above our main, we're going to start creating changes here. We're first of all, we're going to again go to the nav and remember all the code we just wrote up here is being inherited down. So all these things are actually already down here, but we are just making changes to that that needs to be changed for it to fit. So we're going to give the height an auto. That's done with the navigation. We're going to give the UL uh, some changes as well. So we're going to assign this a width of 100%. So I'm going to show you in this one, once it's below and we click this, this happens. So this is by why we're doing the UL in this case. Right now, nothing happens in this one because we aren't done yet, of course. So that's why we're assigning a hundred width here. Next part is we need to, uh, for in our case, we need to remove uh, news and contact and leave our home here still. And we can use this by using the ULLI and then the not, so in our case, not this, and then we don't want it to be not, not first child like this. And by doing this, we can actually tell the system, well, you're going to display none on everything but the not child. So don't do a display none on, a, uh, on the first child, but everything else should have it. So once I click save, refresh, these two should disappear, and they did. Home is still here. Once we go back, they're still here as well. So it's only below 720 or the breakpoint here. So that's a way of using uh, the not along with first child. So we can actually mix them together quite uh, with, in a smart way. In our uh, HTML, we actually need to start adding some, uh, some JavaScript to actually add something to our code here. So let's look at this one here. This is my finished version and let's go click here let's go do a check so you can see what happens so when i click this uh, you can see here the nav class equals header uh, nav once i click this up here make sure you look here at the spot here so you can see it adds something to it it adds space and then responsive the reason we need for this to happen is so we can actually assign specific css to it once this class is being added so once the class is being added, it's going to move this to the center and expand the menu. And this we need some, uh, some JavaScript for. Uh, it's not a lot of JavaScript, but we need some JavaScript for, of course. So we need to add a class. We're actually going to toggle a class, basically. So if it's clicked, do this. If it's not clicked, do something else. So we actually going to do some, some starters uh, JavaScript for this. So in the next video, I'm going to show you the part with the JavaScript, and then we're going to continue with the CSS for this.